Hey everybody, it's Charlie with AgriSpray Drones. A quick update with some rule changes. The exemption process has changed for the 44807 starting basically June 1st. Uh, we, we saw exemptions change through the docket process. Exemptions now come out based on the heavyweight 44807 but are not drone specific. The FAA has published a list of 31 drones, which the DJI products are on, that allow you with an exemption to operate those drones. That was the first part of a change. We saw on the 14th of June, we saw the inspector's handbook 8900.659 change with updates to the 137 process. So a quick overview of what's, what this means to you all as new users or users in the process. So let's look first at the 44807 process, the exemption process to apply for it and, and receive an exemption has been streamlined. We don't know what that means from a timeline yet, but we do know that being streamlined, it means that you're not having to submit manuals. You're not having to do it drone specific. So exemptions, we are under the impression that we'll, we'll go quicker. We have seen one exemption that was put in second week of March already be approved by the second week of June. So that's, that's a good thing there. So exemptions now, uh, streamlined process, the changes that we see are they're not drone specific and they include uh, an FA third class medical instead of an FA second class medical. For those of you who already have a second class medical uh, your second class medical reverts to a third after the 12 month period that a second class is valid and a third class is now good for 24 months if you're over 40 years old and if you haven't reached your 40th birthday they're good for 60 months so uh, good news from that front of, of how that goes. The new exemptions are all stated that way and the new guidance on the 8900 also lists the third class medical. So. We hear it a lot and, and everybody calls and says, what are the rule changes? These are guidance changes, not rule changes. 137 is not changed, 107 is not changed. It's guidance through the exemption and guidance through the inspector handbook. The 137 changes are all based on guidance in the inspector's handbook, the 8900. If you wanna look that up, it's 8900.659. It'll take you to a 137 guidance for FAA inspectors. Huge changes here. So. What we're seeing is that uh, the exemption process, when the exemption is granted, it gives the government an FAA email address to email your 8710-3 form, which is your application for your 137. It does not go through your FISDO anymore. It goes through an FAA office, and those are being granted basically within a week. So a process that used to take over 12 months is now being done in a week, uh, and it, you're just issued the 137. No more... FA come to your location or you go to theirs and do a, a check ride and an oral exam. Uh, there is a self-testing requirement that you will see in your exemptions and, and in their guidance. So there'll be changes to that that come as we go forward, but uh, there's still two exemptions you can get uh, through the guidance and it's uh, an overweight exemption, a, a 55 pound and up exemption, and then there's a 55 pound and under exemption things to think about there is if you're ever gonna to go to a heavier drone, get the exemption for the heavyweight exemption because it covers the drones under 55 pounds as well. So basic requirements have, have really shrunk in time periods. We used to tell people eight to 18 months. We've now seen one go as quick as mid-March to mid-June. So uh, that timeline has, has really been reduced. We don't have any hard timelines other than the fact that the FAA says they're trying to uh, go through the 800 exemptions that they have uh, in fairly short order. So we hope to see that within the next probably eight to 10 weeks that they get through there. So if you got a current exemption in, it, it should go to the new process automatically. If you're in the process for a 137, those automatically should be switched over to the DC office and they should go through. If you have any questions on where you are in the process or, or what's going on, give us a call. I talked to somebody on the phone this morning that's that's got a 137 but waiting on the exemption. So, you know, everybody's at a different level, but give us a call and we'll see what we can do to help. And that's a quick update of, of where we're at with the two changes with uh, the inspector handbook and with the 137. So give us a call, but we appreciate your time. 
Thanks everybody and uh, let's uh, see if we can get everybody up and running.